Okay, so my main issue with the lab radar has been that it activates from a microphone and I should suppress it. So every other shot at the range will activate it. But now I have this little device which activates it uh, using uh, recoil from the gun. And you can calibrate it with the lab radar so that it uh, works. Uh, an awesome German person is making this. It's not a, so uh, very expensive, like 35 euros or whatever. And if you have a lab radar, you really need that. There is one in the United States that sells it as well. I'll try to put some links on. Uh, the yeah. So let's try this. Okay, let's do this. Okay, trying to hit the target furthest left since it's the biggest and I'm shooting shitty 308. That's a hit and it's registered 800 meters per second. I only have a 16 inch barrel on this rifle right now, so it's mainly for practice purposes. Trying the second from the left. Mm. Just top right corner. Oh, catch that one as well. This is working super fine. That's it. So it's a bit high and right. Let's try second one from the right. Second one from the right. That's it. And the last one on the right, it's 10 centimeters in diameter, so it's not that big. I'm only using 10 times magnification, by the way, and that's mainly what I use. Let's see here. Oh, just below it. I aimed a bit too low, trying to compensate. Okay. I'm just gonna aim straight at it. Ah, hi. So now we're seeing the limitations of crap surplus ammo. Am I gonna hit? Super exciting. Ah, there we go. So. This ammo is 762 by 51 NATO and in Europe if you want to sell it to civilians you have to remove the head stamp and stamp 308 on it <laughs> uh, and this is corroded and really shitty but this rifle is really good so it actually works anyway not for competition it's only for practice so for sheep practice ammo this is okay right so this works Perfect.